we are in Connecticut at a new up and coming campground you're not gonna wanna miss. We're at the Quarry in Tolland, Connecticut. Check this one out, stick around. Ah, what's up guys, welcome back. Well, you heard the woman. We're taking you to a never before seen campground called the Quarry. It made a beeline straight from nature's campsites. So let's let Lee check in here. And as she does, let's talk about what we're gonna show you here. Besides how beautiful this place is, we're gonna obviously show you the amenities, like the kayaking and canoeing, the game room for the kids or adults, the beautiful trails at a private campground. We're gonna talk to the owner and uh, we're gonna show you the sights as usual. So let's get this party started. Oh, by the way, this video was sponsored by Hasika, number one in awnings. So if you guys are looking for an awning, make sure you ask in the comments and we'll help you out. And save you 15% with our code on any Hasika product that we show. Thanks, Hasika. Please excuse us, guys. We're overly excited about this one. For everybody who's been asking for Connecticut campgrounds, how are we doing so far this season? We got you again. We are in Tolland, Connecticut at The Quarry. I can't get that wrong, right? They just brought our fire ring, picnic table, customer service, great. There's trails. We're in for a treat. All of us, you, us, can't wait to show you this one, Thank guys. You. Let's talk about the trails. This is a private campground, family owned campground. And uh, they've made and carved out some of the most gorgeous trails you're gonna see at a private campground. Each one has its own character, as some take you down the side of the creek and others right to ponds or just through a pine forest but you're gonna to wanna to come check these trails out, guys. There is a camp store too, guys, so we're gonna check it out. You know we love ourselves some camp stores. Where you're from on here, we have like a bunch of pins. That is sweet, yeah. Let me show that. Yeah. You can't beat a good camp store. And this one is nice, has everything you need. Forget something, it's here. Only thing that stinks is that Lee will break the bank in these places. It's like she's in the mall or something. Unreal. That is so nice when we forgot ours, remember? People love, bringing their pets. So the fact that you guys are pet friendly. Yeah. They're not just pet friendly, they're also kid friendly. Look at this nice game room. There's also kayaks and canoes for those that wanna float around and try some fishing on the catch and release ponds here. But the gem of it all is the beach. Look how big, pristine, and gorgeous this beach area is. And here's the park for D. <laughs> ah, whatever, Lee. You just make sure you pick up after yourself, my dear. <laughs> the dogs aren't the only one with a park. The kids have their own too. You know, we never talk about rates or anything, but we have to this time around because they are so great. You're looking at only $35 for a tenting site with electric and water hookup. Only 68 bucks for an RV. Um, there's everything except black and um, they'll come through, pump that out, and there's a dump station. This part of the campground, when you first come in, there's like an open field, the water. It feels like I want to come down here with a comfy blanket, sit 
and have lunch or something. It's very, very peaceful. And it's like so open. I just want to relax here. And then on the other side, because when you come in, after you check in and come down the road, there are these huge pine trees that are on each side of you. It's like a grand entrance into where the campsites are. Man, it's really, really beautiful. But on both sides, there's these fields and then bodies of water, either side. But the other side is where I really feel like I'd wanna plop down and relax for the day. What was your name again? Tell I'm Chelsea. Chelsea. And uh, what is your role here again? I a little bit of everything, but uh, <laughs> primarily I am the events coordinator. Okay. All right. So what's she saying is she has the hardest job, guys? <laughs> yeah. My family bought um, the campground three years ago, so this is our second season. Um, most of us are from Rhode Island, so this is new territory for everybody. The campground and the area. We all chipped in. We all chipped in on the work and the repairs and just the day to day. So we see so many renovations. Oh, it's beautiful over there. Yeah. 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 Um, I know your brother said you're probably be catering to like tempters over there. Do you guys have like, do you want to lean towards seasonals or more mix or what? Yeah. So our main goal is definitely to lock down a lot of seasonals, but we really want to be an asset in the community for just daily visits. So we're trying to get our name out there for people just to come and swim during the day, to come hike our trails um, and join in our events. That's a big goal. But we do want to maintain like availability to tenters. I know he said this wasn't a good question to ask, but I do you guys have like a set date for when the renovations will be done where people can? I wish we did. I told her. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine because our goal is to well, our goal was to get a lot more done, but it's bit by bit. I know one of the things is we're really focused on making them 50 amp. So because because as time goes on, more people have bigger right. RVs. So yeah. that's one thing that we've learned. Um, and the aspect that we want to put all the electric underground and Wi-Fi. So um, we are trying to charge it though, because that's that's the biggest goal for us is to have more space, more availability. And I think a, a big thing for us too, we weren't so focused on the amps and we were more focused on Wi-Fi because we know a lot of travelers work from their camper now yep. in this day and age. I mean, yeah. I'm sure that's what you guys do exactly. too, right? Yep. So exactly. yeah, so we were just trying to upgrade it, make it more accessible. Hopefully within the next two years, it'll be done. Awesome, man. That's so exciting. That really is. What type of activities do you guys have like in mind? Yeah, like events. Um, so this season in particular, we've got um, <clears throat> we've got one big one I'm looking forward to is our carnival. So we're going to be hosting like campground carnival with arcade games and balloon twisters. A lot of the events are geared towards kids, um, especially because of the people that live in this area. It's a lot of families. So um, the carnival, we've got live music coming this year. Um, and we really want to do a lot of custom things like custom t-shirts, um, screen printing our own t-shirts at events, and definitely potlucks because everybody loves potlucks. Yes, right? they do. Yeah. Yes, they do. Christmas in July, a classic as yeah, well. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Um, where, where can people find the information? Like, do you have Facebook mainly? Yeah, so we, we do have Facebook. Um, we're on Camp Spot. And then we have a website, thecorycampground.com. Um, we're still working on Facebook. Facebook's a lot more advanced than I remember when I was younger. So <laughs> I'd say look at our website if anything, but um, we're also on uh, Instagram. Okay. Just the quarry? The quarry campground .com. Yeah, okay. the quarry campground. One thing I could add is that one view of the quarry is to, to offer campsites that still feel like you're camping. So we don't want to cut down trees. We don't want to overcrowd awesome. Um, awesome. and we want to keep it you know, fairly quiet and, and very natural. So awesome. that's, that's definitely so yeah. a viewport. That's very important. Yeah. It really is. A lot especially. of a lot of campgrounds right now are just lots and we right. don't want to be like that. We don't so. go to lots. Yeah. I mean, we hate them. Really. 
I'm super impressed, guys. As Lee said, this gets the Dean Lee stamp of approval. There's a lot of aspects and things that we look for when we grade and review and tour a campground. And this one is an A plus and they're not even finished yet. Um, you know, we're not gonna market, benchmark it for when they are. We're gonna look at it as it is now and in the condition and what they're doing now. Guys, the way it is, is impeccable. And the plans and the blueprint for the future just just is the icing on the cake so guys when we tell you this is one that you're going to want to visit and there's lots of reasons why make sure you come see this place because it, it'll be your loss <laughs>
as you can see, come with picnic tables, fire pits. We actually have 20 amp electric and water hookups. So you have water on each side. Um, again, nice fire pits, brand new picnic tables. And you're underneath all these beautiful pine trees. You guys know I love that. And it just smells gorgeous here. Um, and the tent sites go all the way down to here. Site 105, pull throughs, full hookup, electric, pull right through, picnic table, fire pit, and they go all the way down here. Really nice. Roads are wide, gravel, brand new graveled roads. It's a brand new campground. So guys, you're gonna um you're gonna want to come test this place out. So here we are, site 93. 50 amp and they go all the way down here it's the 50 amp section um here's 95 with that huge toy hauler there that thing is massive it's the xlr um i'll tell you guys this place is amazing and down here is under construction um again new campground under construction and we'll get you more info we'll talk to the owners later and um i'm gonna tell you exactly what's going on here but here we go look at this the 50 area here's 96 on down these are the 40 section you have 42 43 44 45 on down and in the center here those beautiful pine trees I promise guys I'll stop with the pine trees but um look at this guy down here this is site 30 for some reason I really dig it um it'll be awkward you know it's a little on level here so you want to bring your blocks but then you know you have that portion down there you go hang out during the day at night etc really nice really nice let's continue Site 21, again, picnic table, fire pit. Really, really gorgeous. Down into the teens. These are beautiful sites. And we're right back there, so. And here you have horseshoe pits, open field. Once again, baseball field that you saw. Oh, by the way, you can book online or give them a call. But when you do, make sure you tell them Dean Lee sent you. This week's video was sponsored by Hasika. Look at their 270 degree awning, guys. Gorgeous. 10 minutes to set up, guys. 10 minutes, if that, literally, if that. Beautiful. Thank you, Hasika. Well, there you have it, guys. An amazing family owned, up and coming, new Connecticut campground that certainly gets Dan Lee's stamp of approval. The quarry. That's <laughs> guys well, Hold on, before you leave, you gotta see what we get into next week. Next week, we are at all oh man, Beaver Kill. River. Oh my god, it's Beaver Kill State Park, Lee. Known for the best fishing in the country, the most beautiful walking trails. Did you hear that? <laughs> Did I get D again? Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Was that it? Oh my god. Oh my god. Was that it? What the? <laughs> you definitely don't want to miss next week. Put your notifications on. And until then, we love you guys. Subscribe now.